Hi everyone. Well, welcome to the monthly forecast reading. I'd like to make a little introduction first for you to get to know what this is about, okay? So the intention for these readings are for them to be monthly. These are more of a general reading, okay? Focus with the intention to apply to as many as you as possible. Sort of global messages. Messages that affect the energy of our planet, that affect us at an individual level, and the consciousness, awareness, how it expands or how it contracts, depending, or the awareness that we constantly are receiving from higher sources into the awakening of this planet. So you are going to find that the messages from a spirit will be more at a general level. In fact, to make it more into the physical realm, I am going to be using my tarot card deck, okay? Normally I'm going to be using this one right here. It's called the Cosmic Tarot, okay? And my intention is to use this tarot deck in order to pull the messages that are for the most importance for a spirit. Since I am not tapping on anyone in specific, I want to do it this way, so the most information comes forth. In addition, I plan to tap all sources of light, okay? I will connect with the spirit guides. I will connect with the energies that may come to me or other sources of light that may come to me. Even if for some reason I receive information from the Akashic Records, I will be sharing that also, okay? But these readings are intended to be more at a general level, okay? They are not intended at a personal level and they won't work in that aspect, even though they will make a very strong influence in your life, especially if the energies are touching a living area that you are working on, okay? So, with that being said, let's go for the reading. So, time to get started with November 2017th forecast. And first things first. While I shuffle my cards here, I want to share something with you. We are in a very interesting energetic phase at a global level. You can perceive, you can see how this planet is doing, especially in the latest, okay? I want to let you know, as many of you are aware, we have went through a major cleansing wave, okay? This cleansing wave has brought many changes to our life. With many of you, we have been talking about this, okay? This cleansing wave came to an end by the beginning of October. However, my spirit guides did inform me that for the remaining of this year, there is still going to be a great possibility to continue to heal. Relationships that don't serve a purpose, they will come to an end. Thoughts, behaviors, even Connections, professional connections, it doesn't matter. Everything that doesn't belong in your life, it's starting to go away. However, there are also many great lessons to be taught and to learn, okay? And these lessons are being brought to us in these last months of the year. This is why if you are in the path of self-healing, you still can get a lot out of this self-healing this is something I continue to see, okay? But I can let you know that if you are in the path of growth, empowerment, you seek bringing changes in your life, looking for a new home, finding a new job, getting a promotion, you know, the energies for that are starting to also become available. They were not so much available during the cleansing wave, but now they are becoming more available. And I feel this type of energy is growing more and more every day, which is quite fantastic, because then, without even noticing it, we are going to see that things become easier and easier. It's like things start to flow more, okay? And I kind of wanted to bring this all of you, because I am perceiving that this is the energy most clear for November. If you are in the way of healing, dealing with personal staff, I advise you to continue working on that. For you to go into introspection, find times every day to go into introspection and to 
receive the wisdom from your very own soul. When you sit in silence and in relaxation, you're going to get a lot out from your inner thoughts, okay? So I definitely recommend to keep this in mind for this month. Most likely it's going to be the same for December. We'll see it next month, but definitely it feels to me that this pattern is very real in this month, okay? So let me bring the first tarot card here, which, as you can see, it's the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles is precisely the first message that resonates very well with me, because the Queen of Pentacles is telling us that during the month of November, we are going to start, I said start, okay, to harvest our own efforts, the results from our own healing, the results from our own accomplished challenges are going to start to pay off. It feels to me kind of like the universe is giving you something back, okay? It's like the universe has held blessings in your life and now these blessings are being brought back to you. And I feel this is very real for many of you where you have been reaching to constant roadblocks. You were trying something and it's like roadblock after roadblock. It has been like that because of the healing and because the energies were not cooperative in growth for many people, okay? But now those energies are becoming more available again. And this Queen of Pentacles here, it's the physical validation that the universe is finally giving back that energy that you need to take a step forward to be able to break through, okay? which is something fantastic, something fantastic for you to be aware of. It's very important that you go through the lessons that you have received in this month, okay, in this last month, and during this month of, of, of November especially. Be more aware about the energies that come to you and about the feelings, the ideas, the opportunities, because you need to be very keen, okay, because the universe has this gift for you, this gift of progress, of accomplishment, but in order to reach to that progress or accomplishment, you need to go ahead and pursue it, put energy into it, put effort into it, visualize it, manifest it, and it will come to you. I know many of you have been trying very hard to visualize, manifest, and have been experiencing still some blocks. This is precisely the message, okay, that during this month, those blocks are being lifted, okay, and these ones go especially through in terms of financial progress, most likely, but also very connected with professional accomplishments, as well as rekindling with old connections and creating brand new connections that are going to serve a highest purpose, okay? This is kind of like a big chunk of energy I feel from the universe. My guy just said to me that it's good to me to bring another card this one is a tougher one. It's the Seven of Pentacles. And you know, I do understand why a spirit said to me, bring another card. Because precisely I was mentioning these things about the relationships, you know, and I am perceiving that you are going to notice. This is something maybe a little more on the negative aspect. However, it's for your highest good. Because you are going to notice or start to notice during this month of November that some of the connections that you have are not only not serving a purpose to you, but in addition, they are becoming toxic for you. You are going to realize that some of the connections you have are being toxic and are draining energy from your life. Energy in many forms. It can be someone always asking you for money, or someone always asking you for help, or maybe someone asking you for advice or for you to listen to that person. But you are going to realize that some of these people they don't give back the same you are willing to give to them. And you are going to feel that these people don't bring the support and the caring you need. So you are going to realize that you have lost blessings. You are going to realize that you have lost your energy. You have lost your time. And you are going to feel sad and disappointed. But you know it's precisely the prior message that I was telling you. The universe is giving it to you. Take it. So, if you perceive this type of connections with any person, you want to, number one, cut your connections with that person, okay, 
and not allow the person to disrupt more of your energy. And number two, you are going to realize that if you pursue, you are going to be able to make the rightful connections, okay? To rekindle with old connections, as the Spirit said, but also new connections that will come into your life, okay? It's very important you are well focused and well aware while you are creating these new connections. And for you to connect more with your inner self and realize if this person is going to make a good purpose in your life, if this connection is going to be worth it, we all have a degree of intuition at least. And if you ask yourself these type of questions, you're going to help yourself to realize when a person will serve a highest purpose or not. Okay? And I'm going to bring one more card. Spirit is asking for it. And it's finishing up with the magician. And it's quite nice. Because, you know, this month is... As I started the reading almost, it's about harvesting, okay? It's about collecting all the fork you have been putting through all this year. And the magician, it's precisely a very powerful card to resonate with that, you know? What is saying the magician for this month of November? Well, it's saying that, number one, there are more tools available for us to take and progress through life. And this is affecting all the living areas. But in order to use those tools, we need to become more aware. We need to become more observative. We need to be more analytical. Also, there is the consciousness, the, 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 the global consciousness and the help from the universe for this progress to occur because progress is what is becoming right now popular at a universal level, okay? And it's very necessary. At a healing level, it's always necessary. And the most healing has already happened. So now it's time for that last phase. The end of realization and the beginning of expansion. You know? So the magician is trying to tell us that it's very important for all of you to start to use your intuition. Start to try to be more analytical. But analytical not from an ego perspective. Analytical at a heart level and at a spiritual level. Sure, you can mentally analyze. Sometimes it's going to be required. But you also want to make sure you put love, you put your passion, and you put your visualizations, not your ego. Okay? But you are going to realize that all the effort that you do, it's going to pay off, multiply it in the upcoming months. This is also very true for those of you who are studying or who or are learning new skills. Okay? you are going to realize that these are going to really be paying off. And during the month of November, it's going to be more easier for you to, to gain wisdom faster and for you to progress faster with life, as there is this motion of moving forward with the energy. Okay? And you know, basically, this is what I'm perceiving for the month of November. As I said, I don't want to get in a very deep detail because it is more aimed for the general public rather than a personal reading. So, well, I hope you have enjoyed this forecast. It helps you to go through your month of November. And, well, see you next month.